When they were younger, they were just like typical kids and teenagers. Everything went along quite fine until both of them, I guess, tried things like pot and went to stronger things. Dale, he ended up dying from an overdose. Many times we tried to save him and he was in and out of programs. And then Glenn went downhill from then on. At first we didn't realize it and he was very good at hiding it, as most addicts are. Yeah. And so finally he ended up at the Union Gospel. I don't still think I surrendered a lot. You know, I went through the motions. It was a three month program at the time. But I think I still had a lot of ego and arrogance that I hadn't gotten rid of. We were really happy. We thought everything was okay. And then he gradually fell over the wayside again. Yeah, it, even though I guess what you could say, it wasn't successful for me right away. That, but that was me, that was my choice. You know, I can truly honestly say when I came back this time around and uh, was it 208, 209, I was done. And yes, they do say, yeah, I do it for yourself. And I did it for myself, but I didn't want mom to lose another son. Coming back again, I mean, you know, like I would tell anybody who's struggling is, you have to, you know, really, just really surrender. And they have wonderful classes here. You get tools to be able to cope with life because, you know, eventually you've got to go out in that world again, right? And uh, be able to deal with life on, on life's terms. I think if he hadn't come back at that time, he wouldn't have made it much longer. He was really, really bad. Yeah. And very good at covering up. I mean, it was a while before I realized how bad he was. At the end of that six month program, he was a changed person. And now it's been nearly seven years. Yeah. Glenn and I always had a pretty good relationship, except there are times when he was an addict. Well, you know, I've always, always loved my mom. That's for sure, yeah. you know, and. Uh, yeah, we've never had any doubt of that, no. have we not? <laughs> I guess, you know, I've always been much closer to, uh, to my mother than I guess my dad, but it wasn't to say I wasn't close to dad. When she mentioned when Dale passed away, you know, it was a big blow for her, but she was the strong one of the family um, that kept it all together. I think I phone you maybe two or three times a day right now. Yeah, I'm glad. You know, so, <laughs> but I always did phone mom. But yeah. of course, when I was in my drug addiction, you know, priorities, your, your priorities get all messed up. And, uh, you know, even the people you love and the people you're close to, it's, it's, it's so hard to explain, but you just, the drugs just take over and you become very selfish and uh, you, you know that you're hurting people, but it's, it's just a vicious, vicious, vicious cycle. They hurt you, they know they're hurting you and they can't help it. It's like, yeah. it's like some horrible monster takes a hold of them. That's the only way I can describe it. It's like a monster becomes the person that you loved. I'm, I'm so grateful to the Union Gospel Mission to what they've given me, showed me how to change my life. Well, this is probably the best seven years of my life that I've had. Um, you know, I'm giving back, I'm volunteering. You, you feel so good inside when you give back, you know, and I'm helping a lot of guys through their, their, their programs. And you know, God's been such a huge impact in my life and God has put people in my life where, you know, placed them in my life to when they're supposed to be in. And I know my mom's proud of me today. Yes, I am. You know? <laughs> so I just hope that for many more years, we'll have the Union Gospel here and the <laughs> UGM will continue to exist. Amen to that, Mom. <laughs>